Hello guys, uh, welcome to uh, my second ever re aircraft review and today we are going to review the J7E uh, It's basically the modified uh, Chinese Mifflin 1 This, uh, from a normal Delta they brought it into a double Delta uh, Now, in game it has one a 30mm Type 30 one cannon. Basically what this is, is the same gun as on the MiG-19, so it's pretty good. The problem is you only get 60 ammo, so you have to be quite conservative with your ammo. Uh, the engine is pretty good, uh, it's uh, the Shenyang Gleming uh, WP-13F uh, with 4100 um, and after burning you have 6670 uh, trust. Now, uh, the PL5s, which are the good missiles on this particular jet, are really, really good. And recently they got buffed, uh, and they made them much, much better. Um, the range is crazy, you can get 5km kills easily. Um, but yes, the weaponry for air is really good. For ground, you have limited capabilities, all you do have is 4 bombs or two bombs and some rockets, but I don't really suggest this plane for uh, ground capabilities. If you want ground, go for the Q5s, or for the F104G and F5A. Um, it flies really, really well. The responsiveness is amazing. The energy retention is really good. You, you, you normally don't go really below 500 in a turn. So basically what it means, energy retention, uh, it's when you out energy or an opponent in a dogfight. For example, a McFlint 1 bis or a Delta Wing aircraft like the Mirage or Vigan lose a lot of speed in a turn because of that Delta. They have uh, the first two turns which are really good, but then they get fucked in the long run. The J7, it might not have as good as a turn time, but, it, but in the long run, you can either go up you can basically play with your food with this plane uh, in a dogfight, but usually dogfights don't really happen at this tier. Uh, what you do have to be a bit careful though is the compression, but that's all, you know in every plane to be honest. Uh, and I wouldn't really rely on your guns. So uh, it does really well in game. I would put it as like the top five best top tiers in the game. The mix with the re really good performance and really good missiles and gun makes it very, very potent. Um, I wouldn't really use it as a main fighter, I would use it as a support aircraft. What I usually do is around, I go at around 6000 meters and then launch two of my missiles and if I'm forced to go down, then I go down. Uh, this thing, you have to use it at 6000 meters because um, your missiles are really good at that altitude. Um, also, the burn time is really short. So basically, what that means is that the marker that the missile shows you when it, when you realize there's a missile behind you, that only happens when it's burning. So when the rocket booster is still uh, working, the rocket booster on this missile is really short. So basically, you can the missile. Usually people don't really notice it at long range, so that's why you, you get a lot of kills. Um, which is a very very good thing about this aircraft. Um, honestly, I wouldn't really say it's worth grinding the whole Chinese tech tree for this. But if you want it to get the J8, or you grind it the, with the A5, see the premium, I say it's pretty worth it to be honest. Well, the J8 is a bit worse than the J7. This is faster, but they're both they're, they're different aircraft, so you can't really compare them. But um, I wouldn't really say the J7 is worth it to grind the whole tech tree with no premium plane or premium time. Obviously, if, if you have no other tech tree to grind, then go ahead. But by all means, it's a very, very good plane. Not really worth grinding the whole tech tree because it's, uh, the tech tree is bigger than Sweden, for example. I got in the Sweden only for the Vigan, for example, and it didn't take me too long because uh, I got two jets in three days, and then when they released the truck, and I just got the Vigan in three other days because I already had rank five like, from a year ago. Uh, 
there's really nothing bad I, I have to say except for the uh, ammo and uh, actually the radar. The radar is the same type of radar as the sabers, so it's just an acquired radar that tells you where to lead, although the game doesn't tell you where to lead. So that's a little bit problem for top tier, because on top tier you do need a good radar to be honest. Um, but honestly, other than that, there's really no problems with the plane. The ammo and the radar are the only problems, but you, you can work through them. Again, use the plane as a support plane, don't use it as a, as a main fighter. Because McFlinted trees, I wouldn't say they will eat you up, but obviously the McFlinted MLD currently is the best plane in game or all around. Uh, and in the raid fight, I'm pretty sure it will win most times. You can win, I've I done it before, so I'm pretty sure you guys can. But I'm just saying, just be a bit weary how you ever use the plane. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions or suggestions about the planes you want to use and review, uh, comment down below and I will see you guys next time.